Okay, she was seven. Okay, I have some more tough love for y'all today. Okay, I'm sorry. In advance, I'm sorry if I hurt anybody's feelings. It's not meant to hurt feelings. It's just true, okay? And I don't know. Sometimes the truth hurts, you know? Sometimes it hurts, but I gotta say it. I gotta say it. Okay, so, ladies. So, okay, some of y'all are asking me uh, how do I find a rich man and how do I keep this boyfriend or how do I get my boyfriend back and all this and that and you know um, and you guys are saying oh I look good I'm not, I'm not ugly and da 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 and um, you know everyone's beautiful right everyone is beautiful in their own way but you can always improve upon your looks okay if you're losing your man or your man is walking or moving away from you um, are you looking for a man? You can't just come out looking like normal. You gotta spruce it up. You gotta you gotta do some extra, okay? You gotta go above and beyond when it comes to your looks. You gotta invest in your looks. You have to invest in yourself, okay? Some of you guys are walking out the house with flip flops and jogging pants on, and you know, then you put on chapstick or deodorant. Okay, some of you guys are walking out of the house like this. You know, even if it's just to run to the store or blah, 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 blah. Okay, now what if you ran into your potential husband looking like this? Okay, looking crazy. They're not going to approach you. And if they do, they're going to feel like your standards are going to be very low. And they're not going to see you in the same light that they would see you in if you had, you know, looked decent. You know what I'm saying? So it is very important for you to look good all the time to look decent all the time don't go out of the house looking crazy if you're trying to attract a husband or a man okay don't do that okay unless it's an emergency um and some of you girls um y'all write to me and you say you know i i look better than his ex baby than his um new girlfriend and blah 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 blah, blah. but do you look better than her all the time like you might look better than her when you get up and make yourself up and do you know do yourself up but do you look like that every day okay that's another thing you know if if you don't look like that every day then you really might not look better than her you might look better than her on some days okay <laughs> so you gotta you gotta you gotta understand um some people feel like they look good already because they have good self-esteem and that's wonderful but if you compare yourself to other women who are approaching uh, these type of men or who these type of men approach, you got to compete, okay? This is a competition. You got to compete with how other women look, okay? So if you feel like you look good enough, but if you don't look better than the next chick who's after the same type of man, you got to go and get it together, okay? You got to go and get the same type of, you know, tools, that you need I call them tools that you need to compete okay some of these tools are makeup some of them are eyelashes some of them are jewelry some of them are clothes you know perfumes and things like that you gotta you gotta compete okay um if you ever notice the the type of women that guys approach um you'll see that they're not the most raggedy looking thing in the place you know they're not the most um basic looking person in the place they're gonna they're gonna look good okay because men like women for status symbols most of the time they want their friends to approve they want their friends to be like oh you got a good one they don't want to have to say oh well she's nice and got a good personality you know they want to enjoy the looks too okay just like the women want to enjoy the the money of the man okay oh girl i got me a rich one like they don't even ask what he looks like they're like oh you know when a girl starts dating a rich guy and she tells her friends, they don't even talk about his looks. Why? Because the money is more important. And that's for women who seek wealthy men. Okay. It's not about the looks. Like, for example, um, I did not know what my friend's uh, boyfriend looked like for like a year because um, like they, they would date and she would go out of town and you know I wasn't like I was super busy in school and stuff like that I didn't know what he looked like and um, I never asked because you know that wasn't important because she was getting everything she wanted but it's vice versa for men like um, so if, for example you know his friends are gonna see her if she's not cute they're gonna make fun of her 
uh, and laugh at him behind his back or try to hook him up with better looking girls to see if he's tempted. You know, you got to keep yourself looking good. You got to keep yourself looking decent. I don't care what size you are, what color, skin tone you have. If you don't look the best you can look at all times, you know, you're not in it to win it. Okay. And I don't, I'm not saying look glamorous every day. I'm not saying I'm the most beautiful person in the world and I look glamorous every day because you know I don't. But when I was single and I was young, yes, I did. Yes, I did. Okay. Every day, makeup, every day, makeup, hair, nails. You know, I made myself presentable so that anytime I went out the house, I was approachable, you know. And I feel like that's why I met a lot of people with money, a few celebrities, you know, and all that kind of stuff approached me because I wasn't looking raggedy, you know. Um, so I, I urge women to never leave their house looking crazy unless it's an emergency. Okay. Um, I know, I know older women who will not even come out of their bathroom in the morning until they have their full face on clothes, perfume, jewelry. Okay. That's how they used to do in the old days when everyone was like ultra glam, you know? So y'all got to get back into that. You know, we can't just do it for the Instagram, you know, and then look raggedy all the rest of the time, you know, look good every day. You'll feel good about yourself. It will raise your self-esteem, you know? Um, if you don't know how to do makeup, there's videos on YouTube. I have a beauty channel. There's thousands of beauty channels. If you don't know how to do this and that, you know, there's tutorials online, but you got to do better. I've seen a lot of you guys' picture and you're writing me and I'm like, well, you, you know, I, I have to tell you, you know, I would have to tell you personally, but I would never do that. Y'all gonna have to do something better with y'all looks, okay? Y'all gonna have to get your eyebrows plucked, get your mustache shaved, um, you know, <laughs> comb your hair, get some new clothes that are trendy. You know, you're gonna have to do better. And, you know, I would tell this to anyone who I cared about, you know, if they're trying to find a man and they have no look, look, this is what you need to do. Get yourself a makeover. Do a total makeover. I don't care what it is, but um, some some of you guys are rocking stuff from the 90s. That's not retro, but like way out of style. Some of y'all, I know the 90s style is back, but y'all are still rocking the exact stuff from the 90s. And, you know, they kind of revamped it. <laughs> but, you know, some of you guys are still wearing the same hairdo you had in high school. You know, some of you guys are still, you know, wearing the underwear you had in high school. No, you got to, you got to step it up. Okay, you invest in yourself and I promise you, you will see results. Okay, I don't care what size clothes you wear, what color you are. I keep having to say this because there's always some people in the comments. Well, I'm dark skinned, so I don't have it as easy. Well, you know what? That's not an excuse. You know, I've seen beautiful dark skinned models. I've seen beautiful dark skinned women on YouTube who are married, have money, look better than me. You know, I've seen I've seen it all. So that's not an excuse. If that's how you feel about yourself, that's how you feel about yourself. That's not how it is. OK, um, there are plenty of people, plenty of people who would kill to date someone like you. OK, now all I'm saying is that's all in your mind and that's a program. Uh, so I don't feel like that's true. I feel like, yes, there is a preference. There is a, a American, a black American standard for color and all that kind of stuff. But if you let that stand in your way, then it's going to be an obstacle. But if you don't even acknowledge that that is an issue for you, it's not going to stand in your way because you're not even going to think about it. And you're just going to keep going like it does not exist. You know, just like some, like someone could say, oh, well, you're fat, you're overweight, you know, but it doesn't, that does not exist to me. That never stopped me from getting to the life that I wanted. Like, you know, some people stress out because they're um, a certain size and they want to be thinner and it's stopping them from feeling good about themselves and attracting a man or a husband because they're too insecure and they feel like, you know, they, they're going to get cheated on because they don't look like this model over here. That none of that ever stopped me. I'm like, look, this is who I am. If you like it, take it. If you don't, move it, move it along. Okay. So you know, I could compare, you know, being a little bit overweight to being, you know, darker. You know, um, this is not the ideal beauty standard. You know, uh, people have started, you know, praising curvy bodies more, and not, you know, and things like that. But that's because we started praising ourselves first. Okay. So if you don't, if you don't love you, 
then how can anyone else love you? You know what I'm saying? Um, flaunt it, you know? I think people are all different and we need to play up our assets, okay? If you don't see your skin as an asset, that's your point of view, okay? That's not my point of view and that's not anyone else's point of view. That's just your point of view. Now, there might be guys that might talk bad about fat women, like they do on my comments, in the, in the comments. You think that bothers me? No, because it didn't stop me from getting exactly what I wanted in life. I got everything I want in life, okay? Um, being, uh, being who I am, being the size that I am, did not stop me. It wasn't an excuse. It didn't stand in my way, you know? So I'm, I'm feeling like it's all mental, you know? So I feel like when you guys put that in the comments, it's kind of like a cop out. Like, I give up because I'm, I'm, I'm this. You know, I can never get what you got because I'm this. There are women out there that are 20 times darker than me that have more than me, okay? That have better man than me, that have a better life than me. So it's not that, it's the mindset, okay? Um, I, I never believed that, I'm so sorry. But I, I can't believe that because my mom, she's dark and she had a good life, so I, I can't believe it. Um, <laughs> you know, it's all about your attitude. You know, a lot of people say, oh, you know, a lot of guys say dark women have bad attitudes and they're bitter because this is this and that. Well, you know, they've been told bad things and all their life, so they're going to start believing it. But it's up to us, you know, to believe what we choose now. We can choose our own belief. You know, you don't have to believe what people say. You can choose not to believe it, you know. So I don't feel like that's an obstacle unless you make it an obstacle. Um... But anyway, I can't help the skin tone that I was born, and neither can you. So what we got to do, work with it, okay? I can't help the, you know, I can't, actually, I can't help the weight that I am. But it was never an obstacle for me, okay? Now, if you combined, you know, two things together, of course, there are going to be obstacles in your way. And that's something that you're going to have to work on, you know, for self-improving. Uh, if you don't like what you look like, change it. You know what I'm saying? I'm putting on these earrings. If you don't like what you look like, change it, okay? If you don't like what you look like, change it. I like what I look like, so I don't, I'm not changing anything, okay? Uh, a lot of dark people will say, oh, I, I have it hard because I'm dark. Well, why don't you bleach your skin, okay? Oh, I'm against skin bleaching. Oh, why are you against skin bleaching? Because I shouldn't have to do that to be accepted. Well, then why don't you accept yourself? You know what I'm saying? So I feel like if you if you're... If you don't like the skin you're in, change it. If you're against changing it, stop complaining about it and work with it and accept it, love it, flaunt it. You know what I'm saying? You can't ride both sides of the fence, you know? I know it's a lot of... Uh, these are my star earrings. Um, I love these. Okay. So I know people ride both sides of the fence and will use anything as an excuse. But you can't use excuses anymore because all... All is mind, okay? All is mind. If you think, therefore you are, okay? You think you got obstacles in your path, you got obstacles in your path. If you think you're not attractive, you're not attractive. If you think dark skin makes your life harder, dark skin makes your life harder, okay? If you think being fat makes it impossible to have a good man, good life, then that's your, that's your belief and that's going to be your life. You're going to attract that to you. If you wake up in the morning, uh you know, 300, 400 pounds and say, I'm the best looking thing in this, in this room, in this house, and you really feel that, then go get it. You know what I'm saying? If you wake up and you love the skin you're in, dark skin, light skin, medium skin, yellow skin, red skin, and you own it and you say, look, I'm not, I'm, I'm not ashamed of who I am. People are going to admire you for that, for loving yourself. People can see when people hate themselves. They can see it a mile away. They can go, ooh, she don't like herself. I bet I can get her to do anything because she needs some attention. Okay? That's why a lot of uh, darker girls get used a lot because they have low self-esteem and they don't love themselves. Okay? And I'm going to tell you why. Because, you know, you've been taught that this color is bad and that color is good. And you believed it. You know? You were tricked. And now you lower your standards just to get some attention from, from any guy. And they already know that going in. They go, oh, I can get her. 
Just like they say fat chicks do. Oh, she's fat. She'll give it up easy because she don't get attention. Not true. You have to raise your standards either way. You know, if they approach you and they can't get what they they want out of you, sure, they're going to call you out your name. Sure, they're going to tell you this and that. It's not true because they just tried to approach you. They really were attracted to you and they felt like they could get something out of you. They were trying to manipulate you. OK, but if you're smart enough and have more self-love, you're not going to let that happen. And they will respect you when they walk away. OK, um, and then the next guy that approaches you, they're going to have to come correct. OK, you're not you're, you're going to be one of those special girls who have high self-esteem and are, you know, not for the okie doke. OK, mm -mm. you're not going to have to lower your standards to compete with anyone else. OK, you're going to be the one that they can't get to. And that is what's going to be special about you. Oh, she doesn't do that. You know, she, she thinks she's all that, you know, and then they're going to start viewing you as all that. She thinks she's all that. She's all that. She's all that. So the next person that tries to approach you has her heard about your reputation. Oh, she's not going to give it up. She has too much uh, standards. They're going to come correct. They're going to be like, okay, let's see if I can get her. So I'm going to treat her right. I'm going to be nice to her. She obviously thinks she's important. So therefore she must be special. I'm going to find out what this special is. You know, if you treat yourself special and hold yourself up to higher standards, other people have to do the same. Okay. That is your job, okay? That's your job. Nobody's gonna come to me talking about, oh, I know she'll give me what I want because she's a little overweight, oh, I can sweet talk her. No, nope. they see my purse, they see you know, my jewelry, they, when I do wear my jewelry, they see this and that, they know how to come correct, okay? They know I'm not for the okie doke. they know I don't mess with this. They know I would never let this type of person approach me because that is how I present myself, okay? That's how you have to do it too, ladies. Um, even if you're, you know, too skinny, you know, some people are too light, <laughs> you know, they get mistaken for different races, you know, uh, you don't have to prove yourself. Just be who you are and love who you are. And the right person is going to be attracted to you. Okay. You're going to weed out all the people that's not supposed to be attracted to you when you love yourself. Okay. That's just it. Okay, you're going to weed out all the people that you're not supposed to be with after you love yourself and respect yourself and have high standards. You're going to weed out all those stupid people that was going to hurt you, that was going to use you, okay? They're not even going to be able to approach you at a, at a certain point. So, yeah, I just wanted to address that because people keep commenting that in, in the comments, and I think that's silly, okay? Very silly, very, very silly. It's sad and... If I were dark skinned, I would never use that as my excuse. I would be I would be like Kansas Candace on um the have and the have nots. That would not stop me. I would be the baddest thing in the room, okay? Um <laughs> you know, I'm sorry. I would use it at my advantage. I would be the, the beautiful, most chocolatey, you know, sexiest, smelling goodest, arched eyebrowest, you know, big lip lined and pouty. I, you know, cheekbones on fleek looking dark skinned woman you ever seen. Okay. That's what I would be. I would make myself look like the best thing in the room. Okay. I'm sorry. I'm going to, I'm going to try. I'm going to, I'm going to get all the tools I can get. <laughs> I'm going to invest in myself and then, okay. I know y'all are going to say, well, you can do all that, but then what if a girl that looks, you know, just as good as you with lighter skin walks by and blah, 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 and gets all the attention. Well, there's going to be somebody who likes dark skinned girls who probably going to have more money, you know, and, you know, probably a lot of a bit more open minded as well. A bit more mature, you know, a bit more uh, involved in, you know, having not the standard. You know what I'm saying? I'm going to be treated more. I'm going to be treated special. OK, I'm going to be dating a a millionaire okay you have to have self esteem you have to have self love for anybody to even acknowledge that you're worth anything okay so I don't know maybe you just needed a pep talk maybe you need someone to tell you you're beautiful every day you know maybe you need to tell yourself you're beautiful every day 
maybe you need to do things to make yourself beautiful because you know if you just walk around being upset and mad at the world because of the skin tone you're in that's not going to help nothing okay we see all these beautiful models in the magazine with almost black skin okay do you think they're dating broke men do you think men are passing them by no you know so why don't y'all reassess you know start loving yourself more find the type of men that like your skin because not all men are gonna like my skin okay um some men don't like my skin tone you know what I'm saying you know I, I'm not gonna be trying to be all up in their face hey like me like me like me no if you don't like me get to step in I'll find someone who does okay um so no it's 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 not it's not easier it's just that people have been taught that this is good and this is bad and I talk about you know a, a lot of things but this is like every video you guys are saying the same thing okay so can I ask you a question if you feel like this is a problem are there any dark skin youtubers that are giving um, the same type of advice who live the same type of lifestyle or better than me you know are there any dark skin youtubers yes I see them all the time got high rises nice apartments thousands and millions of subscribers you know what I'm saying they're dark they're not me they're not light they didn't let their skin stand in the way you know so what I'm saying is that's not the problem it's this okay it's this this the skin is not the problem it's this I don't know what this girl's name is but she's a beautiful dark skin youtuber and she just had a baby I think and she lives in this really nice apartment like lavish like downtown Manhattan or some Canada I don't know somewhere I don't know but it's nice and she, she's married um, millions of YouTube subscribers I don't know millions maybe it's hot okay beautiful 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 she does makeup um, vlogs and her life is 10 15 times better than mine okay so there you go um, and she didn't let anything stand in her way she just she just kept going you know there's plenty plenty of women who are dark skinned who live way better than light skinned women and there's plenty of light skinned women that live way better than dark skinned women so that's kind of silly to say you know what I'm saying now if you have high standards you're only gonna date certain type of people they're not gonna abuse you they're not gonna use you okay if you have a low self-esteem you're gonna let anything slither on in and break your heart and mistreat you and then you're gonna say oh I get treated bad because I'm dark-skinned and it's harder for me in this world because you don't have high standards that that's probably what it is you gotta hire your standards okay if you can't get a date for one month because your standards are high you weren't meant to date in that month okay you're not supposed to lower your standards if you lower your standards you're inviting in bad treatment okay if you lower your standards you're welcoming hard life you're welcoming having people take advantage of you you're welcoming obstacles okay that's what you're doing if your standards aren't as high as the next light-skinned girl and you're dark your standards are too low okay just remember that if you don't value you nobody else will okay just like if you're overweight if you're 400 pounds and if you don't have the same self-esteem as a 120 pound girl with perfect body and if you don't have the same standards as her oh well that's your problem that's your fault okay raise your standards I don't care what you look like you know make whatever version of yourself make it look the best that you can okay do the best you can that's all you can do but don't lower your standards because you think you think you don't deserve something okay you think there's problems most of those things are just thoughts and they're not even true so remember don't use that don't use that as an excuse 
okay because I could use that that as an excuse and say well I have it hard because I'm black or I'm mixed or you know because I'm not white I have it hard you know I could say that but that wouldn't make any sense now would it because the only obstacles I see are the ones that I create all right I'll see y'all later